What you're looking at right now is a Pringles can speaker. It came free if you bought four cans of Pringles and sent in the receipt. Uh, you got it for free. And uh, it's a decent speaker, I guess. Metal speaker grill. Red plastic on-off switch. Takes AA batteries. It's got a base port there. Uh, the speaker inside, though, is pretty crappy. It's one of the, these type of speakers. Uh, this is not the exact speaker, but it's just this plastic cone. There's not really, it's not really that good, and they're not really rated that well. So, I'm going to give you a quick demo and then show you what I did to this. So, here I have my tablet with a media player, and I'm just going to play a song at about half volume. It's okay, but it doesn't sound all that great. So, what I did is I took it apart to see what was, what was inside. And inside, there is actually a 1 watt amplifier chip. So, knowing this, I thought, what if I did an audio line out? So, you get the signal in from your media device, and then have it amplified and sent out through here. Because the speaker inside is the crappy part. The amp itself is pretty good. It's got low, it's got a low THD or true harmonic dis or total harmonic distortion, I think. So here's this audio plug connected to this speaker from my stereo. So all you have to do is plug it in. It's not hot glued or anything. It actually stays in place quite well, and. Uh, it's turned on, it'll actually bypass the internal speaker, the way I have it wired up, and send it out to this speaker. So now, now it sounds much, much better. The sound quality has improved immensely, you get much more bass response, and it's louder. Just out of this little speaker. So you can still use the speaker as is, as it was intended for, but it's also nice if you have some external speakers, you can go and wire them up. So this was a quick hack, I did it in less than an hour, including the time to mount it. Usually that takes the longest to put everything in the enclosure. It was pretty hard to cram everything in here. That was the tough part. I used an audio jack similar to this one that I got off of a old computer that I took apart from the sound card. So, yeah, works really well now. And I'll probably actually use this thing more now. So, there you have it. Quick, simple hack for the Pringles can speaker. Um, but if you're watching this after, I want to say... September, I think the uh, offer is no longer good. It's only good for some time if you submit it during the summer or something. I don't know. So, it might be too late for you to get a speaker, but, you know, it's a cool project, simple hack, and well worth it. Sounds great now, and I'll probably actually use this thing. Before, I was just going to sit on my bench doing nothing, and now it's got a purpose. So, simple hack. Easy, fast, and cost me absolutely nothing. And uh, that's why I love hacking. So, if you are interested in this project, go ahead, give it a shot. All you have to do is wire up an audio jack to the speaker. Out or to the speaker. And have it bypass it. If you look up uh, audio jack bypass or something like that, you should be able to figure out how to wire it like a switch. So, there you have it.